This is a video for my 2024 reading goals. So for the first time, well, I've had it before, but I haven't used it. I have a um, reading journal. I hope I will get to fill it out. I don't know if you can see it, reading journal. And I just made some goals for 2024. I really, really hope I'll stick to them. Um, and I don't know, it'll be fun to see next year, like at the beginning of the year, just how many things I've got done. So this is why I'm doing this. Also, I really hope this video is uh, under 10 minutes because all of my other videos were just crazy long. Um, so let's get to it. The first thing is a reading tracker. This is the one. I plan on recording each day how much I've read. Sometimes it can be zero, other times more than a hundred. It really depends on how much free time I have and if I actually want to read. So it'll be really interesting. Um, then let's go to my reading plans. Um, so my plans for 2024 is to read 52 books. So one for each week of the year to complete the book bingo or 75% of it. And this is the book bingo that I chose. This one here, it's, I don't know, it seemed like it had a lot of different themes uh, in it. And I tried so far for the books that I've already read, I tried to color it with the color that's on the, bo the book cover. And um, yeah, I hope I'll get all of it done. So far it's looking great because I do more than one thing per book so it should be it should be done um then my third goal is to not buy any books this year last year i found a um, secondhand bookstore and i just went crazy i bought so many books i have like over 200 books that i've acquired that i've yet to read so this year's plan is to not buy any books like gifts from friends are acceptable like i still give them ideas for like my birthday or Christmas so I will probably get some books but I won't buy them myself they'll be present those are okay but personally I really 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 want to get through the books that I already have and yeah they'll be interesting to see if I can keep up to it then I want to read the 12 months book and by this I mean these ones here I don't know if you can see them but each year I wrap 12 books, one per month obviously, and um, at the beginning of the month I unwrap them, so see, I wrap them really pretty and this is April and they're all different and this year's theme is that, um, again from the secondhand book sh uh, bookshop, I got a 12 books and each book has um, its relative number in the title. So for January, uh, the book must have the number one in the title. So for January's book, it was one day. Uh, and for February, it'd be two. So in January, it will be a book that has uh, 12 in the title. So I thought that'd be a really great idea. And um, again, I did this last year. It didn't have a theme. It was just 12 books that I had that I wrapped but I didn't finish them. I just unwrapped them and didn't really read them. So this year I really, really, really want to read the month, like the respective month um, for the book in the month that correlates to it. I hope it makes sense. Like, <laughs> I just want to read them. Um, then my one, two, three, four, five, my fifth goal is to read a hundred books. Now, I know I have another goal to read 52, so one per week, but I also want to read a hundred books. And this is like a secondary goal. If I don't reach it, it's okay. But I just, I want to motivate myself because I know that if I try to hit it, maybe, maybe I'll reach it. You know, it'll just be more motivation. So that's the fifth goal. And the last goal, which is, pretty big if I say so myself, it's finish all the leftover started books. So I have some books mostly on this shelf, which I started, but I haven't finished um, for any 
reason. I'm usually a mood reader, so sometimes I'm just not in the mood for those books and I just left them. And they're quite girthy books, so they're very, very thick. Um, the books that I need to finish reading are as follows. Don Quixote by Miguel Cervantes, Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Robert Maturin, uh, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, La Vie en Fleur by uh, Anatole France, uh, Wandering Heights by Emily Bronte, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, Au Prochain Arete by Hiro Arikawa, Republic by Plato, uh, All Creatures Great and Small by James Harriet, Why Don't Penguins Feed Freeze by Mick O'Hare, which I've already finished, so that's amazing, um, though I did finish it last year, uh, and A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. So all of these books I've started, but I am yet to finish, and they've been on my bookshelf for quite a while, at least some of them, um, and I really, really want to get them read so I can just take them off my to be read file um, and then I have uh, my personal library section here I wrote all the books I have there are some that are missing and I want to color just each book as I go along and read them um, so it will be fun to see throughout the year just how many get filled hopefully all of them but I do know that it's extremely unrealistic especially especially since I'm going to have a job so I'll try to do my best then here you see my 100 book challenge uh, so far in the year I've read four books and again I hope to read a hundred we'll see if that's doable or not but so far so good and um, yeah that was it those are my 2024 goals reading goals because normal goals I've already failed so um, I really hope that the reading goals hold and that I'll just I'll read a lot not not just to mark them down but for my own sake because I really love reading so we'll hope that it goes well you know I just really hope so so yeah that was it those are the goals I think I'll watch this video next year and see how it goes but this was it so Stay good, be good, whatever you want, and bye.